And there, and there we go. go. Just round the roundabout in that spot of Cologne there, just in case you're interested in the geography. Well, that's about what? Four, five hundred yards down half a kilometre down the Paseo de Recoletos. So, you know, you bear in mind that is a 400, 500 metre stretch of pavement there, and it's what quite a lot of people deem, if you want to start calculating or counting. And this is the, the final stretch of the journey. So I think, yeah, the, the bus driver did put his foot down a little bit there when it started raining. Just Probably why we didn't out. get too many cameras, pictures. Because yeah, of <laughs> everyone down on the bottom deck, I have a feeling. Holding on for dear life. You see, from this angle, it actually looks quite a lot further away, doesn't it? I'm yes, sure word is spreading now to the fans that they're just a few minutes away. You can see flags from all over the world there. Appreciate you able to follow this if you also want to on, on the Real Madrid Facebook and Twitter. Twitter sites, I'm pretty sure Adam, our social networking man, is away typing busily. Young person, we like to call them, updating the photos, links, videos, everything. Young people with the, with the Macintoshes, I think. I don't, I don't understand all that. She seems a tight right than me. Well, anyhow, there you have it. Coming down the Paseo de Recoletos. The Real Madrid open topped bus. Coming up nice and slowly so everyone can get a good look. You wouldn't want them to drive past you too quickly, would you, if you come out in the rain? Fact, you can see there's a couple of police horses in front of them, which is, means that they're not going to be racing <laughs> down here, are they? In the <laughs> old school style here in Madrid. Crikey, look how many police vans there are. About four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. You get a feeling it's one of those duties that are volunteered for, especially as Real Madrid fans as well. But getting closer. Yep. It's possibly the safest football team in history, isn't it? I would say six, seven police vans surrounding them. Two police horses. And bit by bit they are approaching a mythical Sibeli's fountain, as I say, which is where Madrid have. Since I would say since time, time immemorial, but they're traditionally always support um, celebrated since, since, since at least it was taken as um, the tradition to start celebrating your titles in the city streets it's always been where where the madrid fans have gone atletico fans ch chose neptuno who's um, just about three or four hundred yards further south isn't he neptune it's not quite such a big plaza however plaza neptuno not really needed so much either Todo lo que ocurría desde el autobús de los campeones. Campeones por trigésimo segundo. And again, it's just trying to find anywhere, isn't it? To just try and get a little bit of height over everyone else. We've seen people hanging on to the traffic lights. I'm not sure that that's a good idea. But you can just see people there's a park there. Just hanging on to the fence. It's the military museum. That's the military museum. If you ever in Madrid on the corner of Sibelis, you've got the city hall on one side, the military museum on the other, the bank. Right next to the, um, right opposite. I think you can hear some of the, definitely the crowd finding their voice. Obviously, other people in the plaza know how close the team is. You see Marcelo and Pepe at the front there with Di Maria by the looks of it. Pepe is certainly in the mood for a party, isn't he? He's one of those players who I thought was, at, was fantastic last night, especially in that Barcelona game as well. As much as there's been talk about the, the front four for Real Madrid, I think the back four have had a, a tremendous campaign. Not exactly with the fact that they've only conceded 30 goals is something yeah. that is obviously very important. They've worked tremendously hard. Now the DJ has changed his song now. It's the easy to remember Campeones, Campeones, Campeones. 
que se ha abierto para los jugadores blancos. Hopefully we'll get those pictures back, perhaps from uh, on top of the bus. They were spectacular. Just yeah, to, you see the view from the players. I think that was probably a question of being in the storm and not being able to get your signal out. Probably, you know, being technical there. Por las marquesinas de los autobuses esperando para que se just about to arrive in so as you can see the road opening up there that's how close they are so all good things come to those who wait at Real Madrid in their open top bus coming down the main drag in the center of the Spanish capital to celebrate their 32nd league title 11 more than Football Club Barcelona. Next highest amount of titles is Atletico with nine, then Athletic with eight. I think Sevilla might also have eight. I might be wrong with that one. This is trying to get the spirit of it. Obviously, a bit more restrained about some of the Brazilians in the team. Sergio Ramos grab, taking a video. Jose Mourinho. I think if you keep, if you're following some of the Madrid players, obviously on their Facebook and Twitter sites, I think you'll be getting some pretty close up and intimate pictures of these celebrations. Alvaro that we're not. Yeah, Alvaro Abalo is a good one to follow. Mm -hmm. Ramos also is quite a bit of a tweeter. I think the ones that I like are ones like Arbelo and Ramos because you can tell that they've actually written it themselves rather than the press officer who every so often puts two or three things out you know some of the major some of the major major sort of sites some some players you always wonder did you really write that possibly not the ones that write about four things in different like in four different languages at the same time those are the ones I think you've got to worry about Nice Jose Mourinho. Is that his son with him? I presume it must be. Yeah. I think that's a lot of what you like to see, isn't it? You like to see the sort of the family side yeah. of these sort of people. Is there the, obviously the family behind people like Jose Mourinho is just as important. So I think what they're going to do is probably call the players out one by one so they do their little turn around the catwalk and salute the fans and receive the cheers. I say it's been a good old wait for people, so you might as well enjoy the moment. These images that more or less speak for themselves going around the fountain so all the fans can get a good look. Cristiano and out of there, jumping up. Side pin trout. And this is all the other people you see there the, the, the background team, the trainers, the coaches, the kit men, everyone who's part of the club. Sergio Ramos. And the fans getting into the spirit of things very much so. Once again, all the players being named one by one. We will leave you to listen to these names. So the youngsters, Morata, Jose Lu, Jesse are all, all included. He's still very cool and calm and collected, isn't he? All the others enjoy themselves. He looks like he's on one of those open top tours, having a look at the sights. He's obviously done this quite a few times in the past. Jose Mourinho, seven league titles, ten in ten years. Of course, not to mention all the other ones as well. This for him is like a normal day at the office. <laughs> well, not that normal. I think you know, it's not. You see, you only win one title a year, like one league title a year. <laughs> so they've gone all the way once around the, the fountain. And also getting some of the technical stuff, obviously Chendo, the match day delegate who's always there on the dugout. Former right back, of course, played until yeah. he was about 36 in the Real Madrid first team. Played in all those games in the late 80s and the 90s. Yeah. 
Um, a cheer for Jose Mourinho there. Uh, the bus of suspension is getting a testing there. And I think eventually they'll, they'll be getting off the bus and perhaps walking around just to get even closer to the fans. And up on the stage, it's been set up there. Yeah, it's a good, good test of the bus of suspension, but fortunately, it's only the top deck that's jumping up and down. Pepe Angel. putting himself about a bit. And Angel Di Maria there had a fantastic start to the campaign. I thought he was Madrid's best player for about a third of it. Then just had those injuries which, which kept him out for a second, third perhaps. But he was um, outstanding on his day. By the time he, when he picked up his first injury, which was just at the start of January, mm. wasn't it? He'd actually produced 12 assists. And he was just which... a remarkable player. He's really sort of a setting up so many chances for Higuain, for Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo. And you could, there's a difference to the team when he's in it. Oh, it definitely gives you that ability to take on a man, put the ball into the box, it can cut inside and shoot. He was really unlucky against... Was it Levante? Or, no, it was Racing Santander when he came back after injury, scored a brilliant goal, and then yep. just literally come back onto the pitch, scored a brilliant goal, picked up that little relapse, was out for another two or three weeks. He can just play on either wing, he's got a fantastic finish as well, but it's, for me it's that shot on the outside of his foot, which is a delight. And here they and come. Up to the... Up to the Passarella Sibella. Oh, Sibella's Passarella. Sorry, got that one the wrong way around. It's been a long day. 